Hello guys, welcome back. As you know what we are doing nowadays is, I am finding out the questions or the type of questions that are repeatedly asked in GATE or any such PSU exams like ISRO, BARC etc. Right, so I would like to suggest you to subscribe the channel if you are uh, interested in giving such exams so that whenever I am uploading any such new video, you will get the notification and I would also like to suggest you to share the same with your friends or seniors, juniors, whoever it might be if they are also preparing for GATE or any such PSU's exams, right? So that I am uh, showing how to solve you the repeatedly asked topics or the concepts so that if any such uh, if any of these common topics pops up in any of the exams, it will be very easier for you to answer, right? Okay, so the current question that we are taking is, consider this is a question where F1 and F2, you can say two function kind of thing is given. F1 says P implies negation of P and F2 says P implies negation of P or negation of P implies P. Fine, these two are given. Now, we have to say that which of the following is correct. Which of the following means we are given two options. First option says F1 is satisfiable, F2 is valid. And the second option says that this F1 is unsatisfiable and F2 is satisfiable. So, we have to show that which of these options is correct. Now, in order to solve this question, the first thing that you should be knowing is what is valid? what is satisfiable and what is unsatisfiable fine because unless and until we know this we can't solve the exam uh, we can't solve this example so what is satisfiable for any such value if any of the value exists for which it is true we can say that it is satisfiable right that means when we can say that f2 is satisfiable means there exists any such value for which there is a possibility that it is true. If there is a possibility of being true, then we can say that F2 is satisfiable. What is unsatisfiable? We can say that F1 is unsatisfiable if there exists no such value such that F1 is can be possibly correct, right? If there is no such possibility of F1 being correct, then it is unsatisfiable, means it cannot be satisfied in any condition so that is unsatisfiable and now the last one is valid we can say f2 is valid if it is always true so three different things if it is always true it is valid if it can be true it is satisfiable if it can never be true it is unsatisfiable fine so these are the main three points that you should be knowing for solving this question okay now let's start to solve this question we already know what these three words means now we can start solving it first of all what is given uh, how we can solve it let's simplify f1 and f2 first f1 what is f1 f1 is given as p implies negation of p let's write negation of p as p dash right this negation of p can also be written as p dash you must be knowing fine so uh, now how to simplify p implies p dash so we are having the formula that a implies b if it is there we can write it as a dash or b this is equivalent fine a implies b can be written as a dash or b Similarly, P implies P dash can be written as it is equivalent to A dash implies B. Mean A dash or B means A dash. So, P dash or B as it is means P dash. Now, whenever we are having one more thing. Whenever we are having X or X, X or X gives X. Similarly, X and x also gives x so whenever these two are same we will get the same result so as per this we can say that p dash or p dash will give me p dash now what uh, so what i have done i have simplified f1 such that i got f1 is equal to what p dash now what i can say about p dash that if p dash is can p dash ever be true 
yes whenever p is false right p dash means what negation of p so whenever we can so we can say that whenever p is false p dash is true and whenever p is true p dash is false right it is as simple as that so means at least there is a possibility of p dash being true right you are getting my point that there can be a possibility where my p is false at that time p dash will be true so there is a possibility of p uh, there is a possibility of this p dash means there is a possibility of f1 being true so what i can say that f1 is satisfiable means it is not the case that f um, that f1 will always be true and it is not the case where f1 cannot be true at all so this case is what that f1 can be true in certain cases so i can say that my f1 is un, um, i can say that my f1 is satisfiable so up to here i can say that up to from a and b this seems to be correct because i already got that yes f1 is satisfiable but i cannot take this completely um, unless i know that unless i know that f2 is valid this part is also correct uh, until now i have got that f1 is satisfiable the first part is correct for option a so let's check the second part so from this conclusion what we got that this f1 is what satisfiable this f1 is satisfiable that we have proved fine now let's see about f2 let's try to simplify f2 what is f2 f2 is p implies p dash or p dash implies p now we know that what is a implies b a implies b is a dash or b so a dash or b as it is means p dash doing the same with this a dash or b so p dash whole dash will remove both the dashes and we will get p or a dash or b so a dash or b as it is now as we know x or x gives x and x and x also gives x means whenever two things are same two entities are same either we are or we are doing or or and we will get the same thing so here p dash or p dash will give me p dash this or as it is and p or p will give me p so this is the simplified form of f2 now what i can say about this we know that again this thing we know that whenever p is false p dash is true and whenever p is true p dash is false now in this case this is or what my or says that if any of these is true this will be true right if any of these two is true my answer of or will be true so in this case i can say that it will always be true why because if this is false this will be true and if this is false then this will be true that means there is always a case when at least any of them when at least any one of them is true and if any one of them is true my or will give me the result as true so i can say that f2 will always be true i hope you are getting right or means any of them should be true and in this case any of any one of them would be always false and any one of them would be always true so this or will always give me the answer true so i can say that f2 will always be true that means f2 is valid so i got the proof that f2 is valid and f1 is satisfiable which is matching with my option a so i can say that option a is correct that is f1 is satisfiable and f2 is valid fine i hope you have understood it Thank you.